All right, and now you have all of your tints. And this may or may not be obvious to you, but the lighter colors don't show the progression of the tints as well as the darker colors do. That's something that you can keep in mind when you're doing future illustrations. And the last one that we're going to do is our intensities. So we'll need another layer, rename it intensities. And for this one, instead of using any specific color, what you're going to do is change the color as you go. Now, the colors that you see here are the pure, most brilliant colors that you can get. So what we're going to do is we're going to make them duller in a progression, the same way we did with our tints and the same way we did with our shades, only we're going to do it with colors that are opposite on the color wheel. So for the violet, I'm going to choose this yellow color to change its intensity and vice versa. I will use the violet to change the intensity of the yellow. So I'm going to choose my paintbrush and I'm going to, same way I started before, make my brush just slightly smaller but this time I'm going to choose that pure yellow that we used from this swatches panel over here and I'm going to click and make it slightly smaller click make it slightly smaller click and do this until I go all the way in and I should end up with that brilliant yellow color and then I can either go around the circle or I can go back and forth find my pure violet go to my yellow make the circle slightly smaller and click and make my brush smaller back and forth Again, until I get to the middle, I should have a pure violet color right there in the middle. So I'll continue doing this with the rest of my colors. And there you have your intensities for your color wheel. Notice that as the colors come in, you slowly change to that other color. If you would like for these colors to mix a little bit more, you can change the blending mode to multiply, and that just kind of shows through the color a little bit more, especially with the purple or the violet and the yellow. You can see that it's turning more brownish than black. And if I turn that back off, then you can see the colors changing a little bit more. And again, there's multiply and you see more of those, the mixing of the colors rather than the change from one color to the other. Okay, so you have your finished color wheel with all of the tint, shade, and intensity progressions. Hopefully this gives you a start on how colors work, how they mix together, and how you can use them in Photoshop.